Hello and welcome to Amethyst Star Crafting. My name is Jane Ormark and I'm a UK independent stamping app demonstrator. And today I'm really excited to show you something which will be coming up in the brand new Autumn Winter Catalogue. Um, I can't show you the inside of the catalogue but it's, uh, it's full of absolutely beautiful things for autumn and winter this year. And as a demonstrator, I get to do a pre-order, which means that I get to get some goodies a little bit earlier. So one of the things that I wanted um, was this really amazing looking tool, which is called Take Your Pick. And it is five tools in one. So let me move the catalogue out of the way and we can have a look at this. So we have a, um, a pickup tool which has, as you can see, let me take this off, it has a tiny weeny little bit of putty on the end and you twizzle the, um, the barrel and it releases some more putty. And the great thing is that you get a spare one as well. So you get two. Um, and obviously when you've used both of them, which I think will probably be quite a long time, you can then um, get some refills because they do refills. So let's have a look at this and see how it works. Um, I'm just going to take a piece of Whisper White cardstock and let's take some of the little tiny sequins, which I know are really difficult to put on. So take a little tiny bit of Tombow, put three up in this corner, shall we? Oh, whoops, one, two, three. Bit too much glue on there, but hey ho, that'll work. Now, let's see how well this works. So, we're going to, where can you see it from here? Um, let's do black ones because they're probably easier to see. Okay, so press it down, pick up, oh, well, that's good. And then we're just going to pop it down on there. Now, I normally press with my finger there so that it releases. Let's see how it releases. Oh, yes, that looks pretty good. So, let's try and take a tiny weeny one. Because those are very difficult to pick up. Picks it up straight away. And then, even though I've got too much glue on there. Oh, rests down perfectly. Let's tie the tiny weeniest little one which is down at the bottom there. So I'm just going to try and pick it up. Probably stick all to my fingers as well but let's see if we can get this little one right in the corner. And we can. Um, it's picked up one other one as well so let's take that off and let's see it's a huge amount of glue on there but let's see how it Okay, that's really going to have to be just taken off from there because that's my fault for too much glue. But, yeah, it picks up absolutely perfectly. Now, um, you can change the barrel by, uh, let me see on this one, you have to twist it out. Now, does this one, oh, that just screws out like that. Okay, so that screws out on the barrel and that's where the new one goes in. Okay, so... To put it in, you just screw it in and tighten it up. Okay, so that looks good. Let's put the lid on there. Okay, the other side, we have a little um, spatula. Now, um, this spatula is evidently really good for taking off little gems and things that get stuck on. Okay, so these are white. I don't know whether they'll be a bit shiny, but let's have a look. So put it underneath where the pearl is and just see if we can ease it up. Oh yes, look at that. Comes up perfectly. And then let's see about just putting it down on there. Very good, very good. Now, I think also it would be really good for using things like our brusho. Now, the brusho, obviously you have... Um, you can shake it out but I think that if you wanted to try and do a really small part you could just put some 
a little look on here it's the yellow one yes you can get tiny weeny little pieces so if you want to very carefully direction it and put it down where you want you can do it that way okay so that's another good way of using it um you can also do it for um, embossing powders um, picking those up so pick up any powders um, you could do it with use it as a palette knife so you know for literally yeah it, it's quite bendy so you can use it as a palette knife as well so great tool now let me just get the little lid and put that back on carefully okay so this you twist and pull it out okay and you can see there's some little tiny um, grooves on there that will obviously help you to line it up so let's put this one in you can see there's a tiny little groove there it slides in quite easily put it in and do it now we've got a paper piercer now let me um, have a go with the paper piercer there's a piece of fun foam because I haven't got my uh, paper piercing mat with me so let's see how sharp this is scrap of paper oh yes that's lovely really sharp really pointy I'm doing this quite quickly but you'd obviously space it out a little better but for just doing round your corners to give a pierced edge it's lovely look at that very good okay so that's that one okay so let's take that out and we can put that in there and we now have two scoring so let's line it up with that little groove yep there's easy put it flat so let's try and do some scoring two seconds while I get my scoring mat okay so let's have a look and see this for scoring and see how good that is um, looks really good it looks exactly the same as our um, scoring tool so let's have a look and compare it so this is our scoreboard that's our scoring tool yeah exactly the same sizes so let's see how they work I really like that it's got a, a slightly sort of rubberized easy grip on there so let's take this paper again and um, let's take a plain one so it's not in there right we're going to do some simple scoring at let's put it there so you can see it i can't get it all on shot um, so score it at one inch turn it score it at one inch lovely score it at one inch in fact it's actually nicer to use than than the tool that comes with it because it's got a longer barrel um, and it's slightly wider it's easier to hold on to so scoring is absolutely beautiful with it so let's um, take out this side and put the other side in I love that everything is in the same place at the same time right so line it up on the groove put it in and just twist it um, so let's see this one this is the wider uh, let's just put this at two inches and at three inches yeah it's absolutely lovely in fact that is a really good tool um, I think I will be using this a lot um, I love the fact that everything comes in one tool so you've got five things all together at the same time let's put that down on the floor um, and bring the box out so you can see it easier from that way up um, yeah everything comes in one box so what's that twisted off a bit so we can put this one back on here which is the ball tool and the lid covers 
on each one of the tools so um, again twist it off slide it out that can go back in there and we'll take the original one on put that in um, yeah really really impressed with this so it comes out in the new catalogue in September the 5th um, for all customers um, demonstrators can order it sooner so if you ever fancy being a demonstrator um, please get in touch um, and really love it so the new take your pick which is available from the 5th of September and is five tools in one so thank you so much for watching me and do look forward to seeing you again bye bye